Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, we are going to be making a wooden plunger gun. Now, this project is very fun and easy to do, so what you will need is a 2x4 or equivalent piece of wood, which I've already carved into a pistol. I'll talk about how I did that in a sec. You will need a metal pipe, as you can see mine in there, two screws, or actually potentially just one. You will need a popsicle stick or two, a bolt or just a little piece of metal, paper clips or safety pins as I have here, a variety of elastics, wooden dowels, hot glue gun, and as always, safety glasses. The first step is to cut the body of your gun out of your piece of wood. So I decided to go with a pistol shape and so if you want to follow my build exactly basically you're going to want to cut out a pistol just like this one and to give you a rough idea here are some measurements the tip of my barrel to the very back is 7 inches the handle going diagonally across like this is around 5 inches um, width of the handle is 2 and width of the barrel is, as you can see there, around one and a half inches. So what I did is basically got my 2x4, as you can imagine it here, um, cut it out like this to make the block, then with a jigsaw, drew it out, first draw it in pencil, trace it out. Uh, I think I traced out one of my BB guns. There's a little trick for you guys. Then use a jigsaw or a hacksaw to cut it out. Same within the trigger. And then, basically, I just got a sander and sanded down the edges. And then, for the barrel, take a drill and drill out the barrel with a three-quarter or so inch drill bit. And then you want to take your metal pipe that is the same length as the top half of your gun, which in our case is seven inches and using a hammer, line it up and tap it in. So that's how you make the body of your gun. Now to make your dowel, again I have a dowel here that is around five and a half, six inches long and it is the proper diameter, I believe this is around a half an inch or so, five eighths maybe, that nicely fits inside the barrel but doesn't wiggle around too much because if it wiggles around too much it could get caught but if it's too tight, it obviously can't slide very nicely. And what you have to do with this, two things. First, drill a hole in this end and put a smaller dowel. Reason for that is so the whole thing can't slide down the barrel. And you also want to make a notch with the doweled side to your right. Make a notch, as you can see right here straight up and curved just like that and that will be for the trigger assembly. With your plunger now inside the wooden gun, take your bolt and this bolt is what I will be using as my trigger and in the body of the gun in the trigger area I guess you could say there is a hole connecting it straight through back here. To do that I just got a drill and just drilled it just like that and now taking your bolt flat end out, place it in your in your trigger just like that, put the plunger back in, and now put that down for a second, you grab your popsicle stick and you want to test fit. Uh, this part here is your rest. Originally I put a slot in here, same idea right? But we're going to be going out here because the farther back this can go, the more power you, power you will get. And as you can see, with my popsicle stick right there, this is unable to go forwards. Here's the view from the back of the gun. And as you know, the popsicle stick is placed around here, which purpose for that is when you pull the bolt back, it should catch right on your bolt like that. But to keep it in place and prevent it from moving back and forth this way we are going to use our safety pins and put one on either side 
of the popsicle stick just like that into the back butt of your gun and then when both those are in there like that of course you cannot move it back and forth so I'm just going to use some hot glue in the holes to make sure they stay in place and then clip them right there and there with scissors to get rid of this part here. Now to secure the popsicle stick to your gun hold the bolt back in a position I'll show you up close here where the popsicle stick is just stopping it so that's a little bit too deep but something around there is perfect now hold it in that place and you're gonna hot glue it in two spots the first spot is right down here at the very base of your handle and the other spot is a hot glue on the end of the head of the bolt there then depress the bolt against the popsicle stick and wait for it to dry so as you can see I just finished up the trigger assembly all I did was an, I added an elastic here to put tension on this so the trigger is springy and I also cut up a little piece of popsicle stick to make an actual tri trigger so your finger just isn't hitting the end of a bolt so as you can see when I pull the trigger with my finger here this will go back and spring back to normal because of the elastic so the last step here is to use your variety of elastics to provide power to your gun so as you can see here we are going to use the stopping dowels to hold the elastics so just simply place it under the dowel the big dowel over the two small dowels here and around the screw somewhere on your barrel and you can add one elastic from really low power as you can see nothing too exciting and you can just simply keep adding elastics to add more power obviously you can't add too many or else the trigger assembly wouldn't work because it has to still be able to hold it in place but uh, anyway there is essentially your finished product and let's get ready for some shooting tests for today's shooting test our ammo we will be using are these little screwdriver head pieces and I'm going to be testing out the accuracy and power just from a few meters away just to get an idea here trying to hit that peanut butter container or my little book right there and for the first shooting test we will be trying it out with two elastics as our power source there we have our plunger loaded back and now we're going to be using this little Phillips bit as our ammo so drop it down the barrel and let's see how this goes firing in three two one a little bit low on that one let's try again here we go round three let's try and hit the peanut butter cup this time firing in three two one Nice little trick shot there, but let's see if we can hit it from the front this time. There we go. We got it that time. Anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on the plunger gun. Very fun, easy to build. Just a word of caution, if I were you, I'd maybe put some tape on the edges of these. They're pretty sharp. I, I stabbed myself by accident. But anyway... Thanks for watching the video, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to stick around for more future videos, especially now that summer's coming, I'll be off of school, and be making lots of videos for you guys, so thanks for watching.